Hello everyone, welcome to another Tom Time Review. This is your host Donnie, and today we will be reviewing the KNF Concept SA254 T1 camera tripod. This tripod is supposed to extend all the way up to 94 inches, which is about 7 feet 8 inches, I believe. And it's supposed to have a 360 ball head and aluminum detachable monopod. So this looks like a pretty versatile, affordable tripod. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. So let's go ahead and look at the box first. This is the design. Tripod, accessor, uh, professional accessory. Here's the website. The box has a little QR code that you can go to the website. So pretty plain looking box, just black. That's what the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. So upon opening, it has a little nice camera uh, tripod bag, which is awesome. Pretty small, pretty portable, so you can carry it with you. Nothing else in the box. Yep, that's all. So I would assume everything is in here. So let's go ahead, open it up. Velcro handle. All right, and here's the tripod itself. In a plastic bag for protection. tripod in a bag, you got the bag, there's also a shoulder strap that you could uh, put on, I'll leave it in there, yep, so there's a shoulder strap, I see there's an instruction manual, have the tripod here which this is how it folds up compact the bag and this instruction manual so let's take a quick look at the instruction manual it also has this allen key to probably tighten up the legs as it gets loose as you use it from time to time so instructions one side is English, other side looks like it's in Chinese, mostly visual, 3 8 adapter screw on top, so there's the visuals of the instruction for you guys to see. Allen key instructions. So this is the unit itself. It folds up pr quite nicely. To use it, you just pretty much open the legs up like this. I apologize if it's off camera, I'll move everything in a second. Yep, so as you can see with the tripod, yeah, it pretty much opens up and has a stand like that and you could, you could adjust the stands here to make it taller. There's a locking mechanism here so you could adjust the height of the shaft. The locking clips here as you extend the leg. It locks in. You got this little um, hook here so you can sandbag or put weight on this um, as you use a tripod in uh, 
um, windy areas or uneven terrain, you can sandbag it down so it doesn't fall over. The ball head is metallic. Everything else seems like aluminum construction, which is great. Yep, metallic ball head. You got the shoe on top with a bubble indicator. And what's cool about this also is there's a little locking mechanism here so you could go taller if you want. And it also goes down, you can swing it down like this and use and use the mount in this fashion. So that's cool. This tripod is supposed to be pretty tall. Um, it could go up to 94 inches, so it's one of the tallest tripod if you need something with height adjustment. So let me um, let me extend it. I don't think I could go that high in this room, but let me see if I could extend it um, to, so you guys can see how high it actually really goes. So give me a minute, I'll be back. So this is with the tripod fully extended out. As you can see, it's super tall. Um, I even extended the shaft, so it's almost hitting the ceiling in my room. Look at that. So this is supposed to be approximately 94 inches uh, tall. I didn't get, uh, I don't have a measuring ruler with me right now to measure, but yeah, it's pretty freaking tall. I mean, this is a standard height room and you can see my door here and how much room is there and this is all, almost hitting the ceiling. I probably got like maybe half an inch a gap up there. So pretty tall tripod for sure. And if you ever want to use it this tall, you'll definitely need some kind of triggering or remote device to use it. And you should definitely sandbag the, the tripod down so it doesn't fall over, so your equipment doesn't get um, busted. <clears throat> the legs has four levels and it's a screw type. So I know that might be a turn off to some people. Some people like that quick release latch uh, and the screw or the, uh, um, aside from the screw type. I personally, does it doesn't matter for me. So there's four levels. Four sections of the leg, all aluminum construction. So super tall, pretty awesome. This locks the center area so it's loose right now so I could put it down as you can see to this ball head area and this locks the swivel so if you lock this down you can still swivel this around I believe right but if you screw this in it, it locks it from moving um, 360 well moving left and right and this area here actually locks the ball head so you can move it around also and you could, you could, you could set it up so this thing could go horizontally and, and you could just move it along like this and have the camera position in this direction of the light. This area also moves as well. You can lock this down with this knob. And this is the um, lever to loosen the, the, the shoe. And this lever here uh, loosens the ball head. And you can also unscrew this off if you don't want to use the ball head, but I'll leave that on for now. <coughs> yeah, so this tripod's definitely uh, versatile. Um, not bad for the price. I believe it's going for about $150. It's aluminum construction. It's not bad. It's affordable and it does a lot. It's really tall. If you like tall tripods and you need the height, um, this is definitely the one to get. I like the orange anodizing. It's pretty awesome. Super tall. And this also has an option if you want to use it just as a monopod. Um, this leg here, if you notice, this is the only leg that has a rubber grip on it. You could actually unscrew this off and use it as a monopod if you like. 
So yeah, so I have a uh, word in there that you can detach it. So you can detach one leg for a monopod, which is pretty cool. You don't have to carry an extra monopod with you, it's on this tripod already. <clears throat> so yep, there you have it. That's the quick review of this guy here. Pretty awesome. Affordable. Comes with a carrying case. 360 degree ball head. It's always nice. Transverse center column. Detachable monopod. 360 panorama. And definitely the height is pretty cool. It's easy to set up too. You saw how easy it was for me to uh, open up the legs and adjust it. Um, breaking it down is pretty easy too. So if you want an affordable tripod um, with a lot of versatility, this is pretty good to have. I'm going to use this one mainly for, not for my big uh, uh, SLR, probably just for my um, uh, shooting on my phone or a smaller uh, mirrorless camera. Um, personally, for if, it's, if you have an SLR with a big lens, I would definitely get something a little bit more sturdier. Um, but that's just me. It'll, it'll work on this tripod too. If you use it, just make sure you secure everything and you sandbag it down with this guy here. Um, it'll work for a regular DSLR, but for me, um, you know, the legs, pretty cool that's tall, but it's kind of thin too. And if you want to put expensive equipment on here, I would get something that's a little bit more sturdier. This is, I got this because the height's awesome and I like this feature here where you could, um, you know, set this head horizontally for horizontal shooting. That's pretty awesome. And it was only $150. I figured this is a good um, all-around tripod to use for shooting um, on iPhone or a mirrorless camera. So there you have it. This is the KNF Concept SA254T1 camera tripod. If you like the review, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see any other reviews of any product, go ahead and leave a, a comment in the description. I'll put a link on the bottom as well for this product where you can get it on Amazon. And that's pretty much it guys. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day and peace out till next time.